Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing people, I'm back again with the next labs. Till now we have solved vulnerabilities in password based login. Now we are going for a multi-factor authentication. Don't think that the multi-factor authentication can not be bypassed. This can also be bypassed but if there is some misconfiguration, most probably 99% it will be a misconfiguration kind of thing done by the developer. Okay, uh, let me access this. Uh, let us go get in and yeah as usual I want you to read each and every line here and understand how exactly this is going on okay so bypassing two-factor authentication this is a simple bypass okay let me go get in yeah before that let me uh, turn on the burp suit so the burp suit is ready now let us study what exactly this is this lab's two-factor authentication can be bypassed. You have already obtained a valid username and password but do not have access to the user's 2FA verification code. To solve the lab access account page. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to access this uh, person's account page. And we, were, we, we are being given these two things. Okay, you are surprised that whether how to get the uh, second factor, I mean factor authentication for this. Uh, we will have that available here itself. Okay. This is the email client. Okay. Just let me put the traffic to burp and let me hit on this. I want to open that in the new tab. So this is a mail inbox. To this email address we will be getting. Okay. Let me go to this and no, no, no. Sorry. This and uh, my account. Okay, so we will let me give the username. This is the username and PETER is the password and hit on login. Okay, please enter your four digit security code and that security code will be delivered here. Let me refresh this. So yeah, we got that security code here. Just let me copy this and paste it here and hit on login. So this is the account that we are provided and we have that particular email client as well. But when it comes to this victim's credentials, we only have the username and password. We don't have that email uh, client for this uh, to get the user uh, to get the OTP. So we need to bypass the second factor now. So the first factor is already taken care in the previous labs. If you want to see, please refer the previous labs. Okay. So the second factor, how we are going to do is like. So just note down this particular, uh, you know, uh, thing, my dash account. Okay, my dash account. Just keep this in mind and let me log out. And again, let me hit on login. This time, let me give this particular person's uh, username and password. Okay, paste and the password as well, just like this. And let me turn on the intercept. So this, uh, I, I mean, I am taking this uh, straight forward. I'm, I don't want to lag this. This is just a basic one. Okay, hit on login. So this should give the request here and just forward this request. And there is one more request asking for the login to. That means this is asking for the OTP if you can uh, see. So this is a get request. So in this get request, let us manipulate this particular thing with my dash account. Okay, this is the reason I, I said uh, just remember this my dash account and hit on forward. And yeah, let us go to that browser. Yo, we have logged in. See, for this person, this victim, it did not ask this one because see, uh, we directly went to my account. Okay my dash account and hit enter yeah see you can see that see we have already logged in to this person without using the multi-factor authentication i mean without using the uh, email client so there should be a proper check it is like there should be a proper check whether from the first request is the client requesting the next one only see uh, it, it should be in a serial so once the password is given we should only get the uh, OTP page we should not get the uh, account uh, page directly 
if the account page is uh, is directly asked there should be again a check it should redirect to the login page this is the fix for this of course this is the fix we need to understand the fixes as well then only we will able to understand how we can implement the next attack this is as simple as that thanks for watching and have a great day